Welcome to the overview of the complete learning course of Adobe Illustrator with Graphics. This is a skill development course and at the end of the course you will be a master of Adobe Illustrator. So without wasting any more time I'm just going to explain what will you learn in this complete course. From the beginning I will be explaining in lecture one the complete use of Adobe Illustrator, why we use it, how we use it and who use these kind of softwares. I will be explaining in the second lecture the complete interface of Adobe Illustrator and the artboards which we make in the file menu I will explain all of these interface objects in the second lecture then in the third lecture I will be explaining the selection tool that is from the left panel here and some of the other tools from the left panel the fourth lecture will have some episodes to it because the fourth lecture will contain a few tools that are very important so to make sure that you understand it I just explain it pen tool is on the left panel over here and the curvature pen tool so moving to the next episode for the lecture 4 is the type tool and different options in the type tool so the type tool is again on the left side these are the types I will explain in the lecture for episode 2 after this I will be explaining in lecture 5 that is line tool and the different options in the line tool as we had different options in the pen tool I will be giving you some tips to how you can just simply save your time and energy coming back over here these are the different types for the line and again lecture 5 have some episodes so is the second episode from lecture 5 that will be covering the arc tool and the spiral tool and moving to the third episode this will have some explanation about the grid tool and its type it's a very deep tool that is a line tool and there are different options to it so make sure that you completely follow the lectures step by step as to understand everything easily first episode for the sixth lecture will be covering shape tool and rectangle and the rounded rectangle so here is the shape tool and the second episode for the lecture 6 will cover ellipse that is not also known as the circle and polygon here are the two more things over here after the second episode we will come to the third episode from the lecture 6 and it will cover the star tool and again wherever I feel that I have to deliver some more tips uh, other than these lectures I just put them in the video so make sure you, you go through all of the videos and don't skip any of the part or a lecture so coming to the next lecture and that is lecture number seven and that will cover the flare tool and again some tips to save your time and energy and boost your outcome so lecture number eight will have brush tool and some tips again brush tool is over here the lecture number nine will cover pencil tool and this is again one of the main tools in the adobe illustrator so make sure you don't skip this lecture the lecture 10 will have the eraser tool and types so eraser has three types so here we can see and I'll be explaining in lecture number 10 moving forward in the lecture number 11 we have rotate and reflect tool these are transformation tools so we have these rotate and reflect tool over here and moving to the lecture number 12 so this will be the lecture for scale shear and reshape tool again coming to the illustrator we can see these three over here in the first half of the lectures I'm going to explain the left panel and then I will move to the right one after scale shear and reshape we will cover the transform tool and then moving to the lecture number 14 and the episode number one I will be explaining the width tool and that is very useful in Adobe Illustrator and here is the width tool and again it has some episodes because I don't want to skip any of these after the width tool it's a wrap tool and then twirl and then puck and bloat and then scallop crystallize and wrinkle these were the episodes for the lecture number 14 and then moving to the lecture number 15 that is about shape builder tool and much more so shape builder tool is over here you can see it over here so there two more options over here and the lecture number 16 will cover life paint tool and then the perspective grid tool so this is again very interesting thing that you can find over here and if you get a good grip and understanding about this tool you can make many different illustrations in Adobe Illustrator then I made the lecture number 18 and that was about the mesh tool as you can see on the screen this sphere this ball uh, this circle was made uh, with mesh to make it more realistic in Illustrator just under this shape builder tool moving to the lecture number 19 that is a uh, gradient tool and this is about coloring and this is just beside this uh, mesh tool you can find it over here moving to the lecture number 20 
Tree, this will cover Color Picker Tool, Eyedropper and the Measuring Tool. Moving to the lecture number 21, the best thing in Adobe Illustrator and very very interesting that you must understand so that is a blend tool. I have made different videos about blending different objects and this is the best 3D model that Illustrator can make. You can find the blend tool over here. Moving to the lecture number 22, that is a sprayer tool and much more options and uh, you can do a lot with this uh, making uh, uh, the wallpapers and many more things. Lecture number 23 will cover the graph chart uh, and much more about the infographic. So uh, don't forget to watch lecture number 23 if you want to learn infographics and uh, you want to play with the graph and charts. Lecture number 24 will cover the artboard tool, how you can make different artboards, how you can resize them and reshape them. The next thing in lecture number 24 is uh, the slice tool. When you're making different pictures in the same artboard, uh, you use the slice tool then the zoom and zoom out and the pan that is moving your screen lecture number 25 is about the right panel now i have just completed the left panel over here all of these things are completed now i'm moving to the right panel over here so the right panel will have brushes symbols transparency and appearance these are the four most commonly used tools from the right panel here are these this is appearance this is layer this is symbol brushes swatches this this is transparency the lecture number 26 will cover the align tool lecture number 27 is about pathfinder tool what pathfinder does it unite and intersect cut different things and divide and minus front or minus back and many more things that you can see over here lecture number 28 is about image tracing how you can just take an image from outside the illustrator and bring it in make it work and how effectively you can just customize the settings to get the best results moving to the lecture number 29 it's about the object menu and handy tips and tricks so the right panel is, is also completed and now I've uh, just moved to the top panel over here so I will be explaining the top panel things in uh, lecture number 29 lecture number 30 will cover the pattern design and the different options and the pattern design is in object menu and I've explained all of these in detail so you can make different patterns within seconds lecture number 31 is about the type and text and some extra options make sure you know all of these lecture number 32 is about the 3d tool distort and transform and offset path so these things are over here in the effect panel here is the 3d distort and transform here are seven objects over here then in path menu you got offset path lecture number 33 is about stylized tool and uh, how you can just give shadows and glow and uh, how the feather effects uh, work and how, what is uh, the scribble in adobe illustrator so these are the illustrator effects in the effect menu uh, and in the next lecture i will be covering the photoshop effects in adobe illustrator so there are photoshop effects in adobe illustrator they're not that good that you can find in adobe photoshop but still you can apply artistic effects on it you can blur the image or vector file you can make sketches or apply texture to it after this uh, lecture number 34 i've explained the view menu in lecture number 35 and this is the second last lecture from the series and uh, i have discussed the view menu in detail uh, you have different preview types in the view panel there's preview on gpu and cpu preview and zoom in zoom out this is a very important thing in the, uh, the lecture number 35 about edges and then slices and bounding box corner widget smart guides and grades so these are a few very important things that you should know when you are going to be a graphic designer and you are going to use adobe illustrator and after this the last lecture is about the recap from lecture one to lecture number 35 it has around 47 videos in the whole series because some of these lectures have different episodes to cover the complete tool so you can complete these 36 lectures in 10 days and master the adobe illustrator and uh, become a graphic designer thank you very much for watching have a good day bye bye see you in the course